What's up, folks? Welcome to the episode of what I'm playing. Perhaps a fall on Let's Play, who knows? Oh god, I've been wanting to do this for... Probably for years now, honestly. Uh, fun fact, this is Pokemon Soul Silver for the Nintendo DS. Fun fact, this is this game is the reason why... One of the reasons that I even make videos. Uh, shout out to K6Scope. His Soul Silver playthrough is one of the first things I watched on YouTube uh, as far as gaming goes. It was back in the old school days when uh, people would put like a handy cam on a stack of books and film their DS because there was no like emulator support, there were no capture devices. So uh, yeah, I watched that. I still enjoy that playthrough to this day. And I figured, why not? Let's just let's hop right in to one of my favorite games. Possibly my favorite Pokemon game of all time. I love Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Go watch my playthroughs. I have a Sapphire playthrough. I have an Emerald playthrough. But Pokemon Soul Silver is possibly the point where I realized that uh, Pokemon was like one of my favorite franchises of all time. I always have loved it, but playing this game like really cemented it as like when the games have a lot of care put into them, they can be amazing. So without further ado, we're going to hop right in. I have not planned any of this. I actually purchased, and I already had this, but I thought I didn't have this. So uh, I purchased this, uh, the, the guidebook for this, because I wanted to read it just for funsies. Come to find out, I already had it, so I wasted like $25 on that. Also, the layout might change as we go along. I'm recording this uh, in a interesting setup it's not my usual setup uh so we'll see how this goes hmm looks like the sun is des descending in the sky so this would be what is called twilight wouldn't it sorry to keep you waiting oh we gotta fix this tech speed welcome to the world of pokemon my name is professor oak in the old game she used to be like my name is oak like just all caps oak but everyone calls me the pokemon professor before we go any further I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. Oh, what was he have? A freaking Meryl? This world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Meryl? It's Meryl. Shout out Meryl. Remember we used to call it Pika Blue? We thought it was freaking Pika Blue, like it was Blue Pikachu? Oh, that's so stupid. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at times we work together, and at times we go to war with them, like Lieutenant Surge and his Raichu. They went to war. Go watch my Fire, my Pokemon Fire Red playthrough, or maybe it was my Crystal playthrough. I also have a playthrough of Crystal. I've done Gen two and three of Pokemon. I haven't done well, and technically one. Uh, am I a boy or a girl? Well, in keeping with the tradition on this channel. You gotta play as the girl. I always pick the girl because... What? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why. Yes. I always pick the girl. Uh, I don't know. I'm a guy in real life, so it's fun to cosplay as a girl. What is my name going to be? Oh, I have a good name. Hmm. I didn't plan for this. I might cut out because I have to think about this. Um... Alrighty, we're gonna go with the name Louie. Your name is Louie? Yes. Louie, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. And they downsize us like a fun sized candy bar. Look at the intro. Oh, wait, never mind. It's not here. Oh, shh, just listen. You don't understand. 
hearing this music when you've heard it in the original like 8-bit format from the Game Boy remastered to have all these different layers it's so beautiful go watch my Pokemon Crystal playthrough you'll you'll get it you, if you haven't played this game or played the originals you'll get it it's a Wii a Wii is huge in Johto too uh, how do I uh wait 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 how do I do I not have a start menu yet? I might not have a start menu yet. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes up. Check the mailbox. Uh, there's usually a start menu though, right? Hold up. How do you... I I set the start menu. Alright, let's see what happens when we go downstairs first. She better give me the poke knife or something. Hi, Louie. You're finally awake. Your friend Ethan was just here. He was playing hide-and-seek with his Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next, to, it's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Okay, no, no, no. See, and this is your trainer card. It's kind of weird that they give you the save and then break the fourth wall by being like, here's the options just in case you need it. That's interesting. Usually you can change your options immediately in Pokemon games. So the fact that you can't do that until later is crazy. Uh, let's pick our border. Oh, I like red. Oh, let's go with purple. All right, we're coming back to seven. Unless there's a better purple. Yeah, let's go with uh, purple. It's kind of like red, just with blue. All right. Uh, what did you say? Professor Helm has been waiting for you, dear. Please go and help him. Well, dang, mama. What if I just want to hang out here all day? Cinnabar Volcano Burger. Mom's specialty. Uh, it's vegan though, so. What's in the fridge? Lots of drinking water and sweet lemonade. That's nothing. Are there cookies on the counter? What's on TV? The TV is playing a movie. Two boys are in a cave searching for treasure. I better get going. I wonder if that changes for the boy. Oh, here's the intro. Look at the, look at the will o wisp Look at the, not the will o wisp the wind wisps. The Wind Wisps. Alright, so this dude, his name is Ethan, but I'm going to call him Bran because screw Ethan. And I can't name him, so he's Bran. But we'll also name our rival Bran. So we'll just call him... We'll call him Don and we'll call our rival Bran. But screw screw Ethan, I don't, I don't care for that. Um, Alright, what's here? Don's house. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to skip it. I don't even care. I'll just pretend. He's upstairs. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Oh, he's like, oh, he has his phone. Wait, why did he get a, a ha okay, he did not go home. He ran off to the left. That's weird. Um, how did, why did he get a Meryl and not like a starter Pokemon? Is this one of those cases where he's the assistant? Alright, I'll just call him Ethan because it's easier. I'll have to remember to call him Don the whole time. Oh, he's going to talk about technology. This dude, he always talks about technology. Yo, Louie, I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Oh, he doesn't? He always talks about technology. I like your bag. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there a secret item? Mache, mache, secret item. Secret item. There's a large, formidable tree that looks like it can be headbutt. Oh god, headbutting's back. Um, so, fun thing. I have not yet decided what my uh, starter will be, or like my team, so this will be interesting. Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. This fact was first discovered by Professor Elm. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Sigh. I wish I could be a researcher like him. Bro, go to school. Your master's degree isn't out of, that, that far out of range. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, what we're also going to do is set up L equals A. That way I can use L to press the A button. I can play one-handed. Although that's not going to work once we get the running shoes because then I have to hold B. Unless, does this game have the auto run? Oh, who's this sneaky mofo? So this is the famous Pokemon. Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? And he just bum rushes us. He's bum rushing us like the Eagles didn't do yesterday. Holy moly, the eagles suck. Uh, hi, Louie. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. Oh, you could say he uh, has a hyperfixation on Pokemon? 
That sounds about right. When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. Yeah, we'll just head out. It's kind of nice that there's like upstairs living area. And uh, then you go downstairs and let's head on in and see what he has up for us. Uh, talk to me, guy. Huh? Me? I'm not the professor. He's at the back of the room. I was giving him a little nerdy voice. Hi, Louie. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Ethan does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could be have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. He says like you could choose from, like that's one option, but you don't have to. Oh, this is like back in the day because like, oh, I got an email. All right, so we gotta we gotta check in on Mr. Pokemon. Yeah, we can we can go in place of you. Uh, who are we gonna pick though? We have options. Okay, we have Chikorita, the Grass Pokemon. We have Totodile, the Water Pokemon, and we have Cyndaquil, the Fire Pokemon. Uh, personal preference is for Cyndaquil, simply because he's red. Like he's fire, Typhlosion, that was always the first Pokemon I chose. That said, I do quite like Feraligator, Escrew, Chikorita, and Meganium. Um, Totodile might be the most... Oh wait, let me think about the bosses. Oh, and also, I'm gonna go with Totodile because... Can I back out? I can't back out, okay. Um... Yeah, we're picking Totodile because... You do have to do a little bit of surfing in this game. It's just easier to have a Pokemon that you're going to have as opposed to having to force yourself to use like a water type. Uh, and we're going to do this. We're going to call him Bran. I'm going to do all caps like in the old games. And since this is my... Oh, jeez. I didn't check. All right. We're going to do some quick some quick YouTube studioing here. Let's check our playlists. And so we have... Pokemon, let's see. Pokemon Sapphire, Pokemon Fire Red, that's two. Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Black. So that's five. This is this is the sixth iteration of Bran. Though I never finished Pokemon Emerald, I might not finish Pokemon Emerald. Oh what what? I'm screwing it up. I'm screwing it up. Ball. This is the sixth volume of Bran. And there you go. The goal is to finish this game. Like, it's going to take a lot, but it's the goal is to finish the game. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Louie. Alrighty, this is Totodile, and this is the core, not gameplay, but the gimmick of this game. Your Pokemon walks with you, and that's kind of cool. They're, they brought it back in, oh God, what game was it? Was it Sword and Shield? I don't even know, honestly. I, you can freaking, walk with your Pokemon though, it's cool. Uh, let's go to... Oh, it's him. Louie. Also, the music from this game reminds me a lot of uh, Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum. Like, it uses similar, I guess, I don't know if it's like a sound font per se, but it uses very similar sounds. Uh, and I like that, because I like the soundtrack for Diamond Pro Platinum. I thought it took a more kind of lackadaisical sound. Uh, everything was more like lower tempo music, which was kind of nice because it was the countryside. and People didn't have a lot going on up there. Just give me the running shoes. Okay, the Poke Gear. I like how it faces onto the menu, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, great. 
Yes, I do remember. Just power, and then she tells me anyway, just power in the vocal gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Uh, you could go into the poker gear. I have a mother. Uh, let's call her. It's kind of cool. Hello, Louis? I've gotten so used to hearing your voice, but you almost sound like a different person on the phone. Oh, that's so interesting. So, she, she mom doesn't seem to care, which is kind of cool. Um, oh, you can change your background. Yeah, I like that. What's... One, two, three, four. Is that for the eight badges? Oh, is this like, um... That's like super Japanese, like tatami mat. Kind of like the fifth gym in Pokemon Ruby Sapphire, or yeah, Ruby Sapphire will go watch my playthrough. Uh, oh, it's just like blue for a boy, pink for a girl. All right. I wonder if you could download more themes, like when this was around, you could hook up to the internet. Uh, 16 minutes, oh God, we gotta keep it moving. All right, so we're gonna head out. I love the windmills. Uh, I want to say I read something about the development of this game where basically they, because they had to cut like a bunch of stuff, I feel like they said something. Oh, know what it was? Let me check the check the motto of this town. What's the motto of this town? New Bark Town. Winds of a new beginning. And I think the thing was they couldn't put, like they couldn't illustrate wind in the original games because they had so little space to work with. So in these games they actually put windmills which is kind of cool like it's a nice little touch the fact that it's like the winds of a new beginning <gasps> wait one second you see the wispy wind just flowing through the air i almost completely forgot about this here i'll give you my number yeah this is uh this is phone call simulator the game everybody's just gonna be calling us um, i may have to get phone numbers of some people because they have uh like stuff they can give us uh step into that grass oh no trainer oh he doesn't teach you how to catch Pokemon yet you have to go to um all oh, this music is so good you have to like go to the place come back and then when you leave town for good that's when they show you how to catch pokemon hey how are your pokemon if they're weak and not ready for battle keep out of the tall grass god i love this music so much oh, wait is this monday is it so in this game there's also like these the the children of the week and so there's like sunny of sunday freaking mabel of monday and they're basically seven characters that show up to give you a specific item in a specific location on a specific day of the week uh, there's one like at the lake of rage there's one on this route here and i can't remember what day of the week they show up it might be is it tuscany of tuesday it might be this chick right here Talk to me. No, nah, she's the ledge chick. Do you see those ledges? It's scary to jump off them. But you can go to Newbark Town without walking through tall grass. Thank you, lady. I love how we just haven't seen a Pokemon yet. I'm waiting for Pokemon that only appear at night. I wonder if it was like morning, if he would have said that. Oh, I don't have an apricot bag. Also, these little sprouts of grass, you see the little like dark spots on the grass right here? Those back in Fire Red, Leaf Green, go watch my playthrough, they used to be like item spots. Now I don't think they have items as frequently. Nope, don't wanna don't wanna do that. Just stop pressing the button. Oh, look at how beautiful everything is. It's currently 6.14 p.m. <gasps> best song of the game. One of the best songs of the game. Oh no, it's not that good. It's the I'm being dragged music, but it's still pretty good. Oh, you gotta follow the moth. I don't have control there. He's like, oh, you don't have the running shoes. Yeah, we'll get them eventually. I love how he's like speed running this and we're just going at a regular, spa regular pace. I also like how in this game they have like the signage for the Pokemon. Granted, you could always find the building because it looked different and the Pokemon Center looked like different. They have a sign outside, but the fact they have like the rotating sign is kind of nice. And this, okay, in the old games, it used to be just a ledge that led to water. But now, because of the graphical abilities, they can actually have sand. Like the grass turns into sand, which turns into like water. So you get like a beach effect. And you get the footsteps in the sand. It's wonderful. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Ruby Sapphire Emerald. But the graphical ability that this game brought is so cool because 
it's still kind of that pixely style, but it's just enough that lets you, okay, hold up, let's see here. Can I do this? Well, that's not a, there we go. We're just gonna, just gonna do that. Alrighty, and now we don't ever have to do that again. Uh, so yeah, you can press on the touch screen there and run, and that's great. Uh, which like, there's really no point in ever walking in this game. When I was a wee lad, I was a hotshot trainer. Here's some words of advice. Catch a lot of Pokemon, but you can only take six with you. If you catch more, they'll be sent to your PC. They won't run away from the PC, so there's no need to be alarmed. Remember what I'm about to tell you. Treat them all with utmost kindness, unless you're using the move, uh, what, not return, freaking frustration. That, oh, this move is so freaking good. Um, frustration. Because if your Pokemon hates you, they'll do more damage. I don't really understand the need to have your Pokemon hate you though for that one move. Like I like the fact that Pokemon team or Pokemon company, they cover their bases by having that in this game, but it doesn't really make sense. Like why would I want my Pokemon to dislike me? Doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Uh, but this is a lovely little town. Um, do we have any money? Uh, if you check your trainer card, you can see Oh, we have 3,000 Poké Dollars. And those are the eight gym leaders because there's only eight gym leaders in this game, surprisingly. Oh boy, that was dumb. Um, anyway, that PC is free for any trainer to use. Uh, I'm very sorry, we're working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. Yeah, that's for like online stuff. And then upstairs you got the online stuff. And we're not gonna do any online stuff because it's pointless. Oh yeah, you can like unlimited, you have like unlimited boxes now. I would heal, but we don't have to, so. Um, but that's the start of Pokemon. We have not seen a single battle. We basically walked around and talked to people. I'm gonna call it quit. Nah, we're gonna keep going. We gotta keep going. Huff, huff, I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token for me. Take it. Like bro, chill. We got the map card, hey -o. All right, so we can see the town map. It's quite, it is quite useful actually. I like looking at the map. Let's take a look at the map. And you'll see here, uh, we're here, we came here from the bottom right of the map, Newbark Town. A town where the wind blows and tells of an impending change. I like how they have a little mini map so you can see places of import. If you press X, you can zoom in on that thing. That's kind of cool. Cherry Grove City. A city where you can smell small flowers and a sea breeze. And we're heading, uh, not to Dark Cave, but up on Route 1, whatever. It's kind of cool though, like you see the little cave entrances. There's a well over here because there's a well in this place. It's a whole thing, we'll get there though. What does Y do? Oh, it's a Mario Warp Pipe. I don't know what this is for. I th oh, I think it's like you can you can set a reminder. Like you can set a reminder of stuff on that route, I guess. I don't freaking know. It doesn't really matter. Nope. Exit out, exit out, back it up, back it up. Alrighty. And when you've run, you do encounter Pokemon more frequently, I believe, than if you walk through the tall grass. So we'll probably get into a bunch of battles. I will use a bunch of repels though later on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're just gonna throw up a scratch. God, why are you slower than a Pidgey? Do I have Pokeballs? I don't know if somebody gave me Pokeballs. They gave me potions, but not Pokeballs necessarily. Nope, so we're just going to kill this Pidgey. I will use potions because I'm not running back to heal every time something goes wrong in this. All right, let's, uh, okay, let's bag. And love, luckily, thankfully in this game, the bag has all these different pockets. Um, I think I only had five pockets in the last game, but now you have, 
items, medicines, Pokeball pocket. I like how it animates. TMs and HMs, berries, mail, battle items, key items. Here's the mail, it never fails, it makes me want to wag my tail. And a potion, that, that's kind of nice. I'll give you the potion. Use a potion, get a potion. Ah, oh, Kakuna. Kakuna's trash. All it's gonna do is harden, so... Part of me, I guess I'll just use Scratch and hopefully just kill it sooner than later. Yeah, it's gonna suck. I could cut this out, but not. Nah, if I have to endure this, you gotta endure this. I mean, one thing I will say uh, is what? Oh, so the aspect ratio for this, it'll look fine, I think. Um, but it also might not. It might be kind of letterboxy, if we're being honest. And the only reason why it would be letterboxy is because basically the platform I'm playing this on, I can have, so, okay. Originally, I was gonna record this off of my Mac and that was gonna be perfect. The problem is that the Mac was not outputting audio for some reason over HDMI, like it was and then it just stopped. And I might have that trouble with this too because I had to restart uh, Desmume to be able to play this like it was playing audio and then I moved something and then it wouldn't play audio anymore so I might have some troubles recording this that said the aspect ratio I have it full screened and obviously the screens are side by side but it's not necessarily the like 16 by 9 aspect ratio so while I can probably scale it to look appropriate it might be a little bit off just because so we'll see Yeah, so as I said, when you run, you're more likely to attract Pokemon. Oh, we still don't have an apricot pouch. That's annoying. Talk to me, guy. People usually come to my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. You did mean to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. I'm so happy. That oh, that's so sad. He's just a lonely old man. Like... Nobody comes to visit him on purpose. But also, why is Mr. Pokemon doing business out of his, like, main address? Like, homies get gonna get jacked by the wrong dude. Like, don't bring people to your house to do business. Like, you're, I get it. But don't, like, have your lab just straight up in your house. Seems a little sus to me. Alrighty, more Kakunas. Yeah, I might eventually cut out battles. Um, but for the time being, they won't take that long. And honestly, they don't take that long to begin with. I perhaps also might um, turn off battle animations, at least for like in between stuff. Like, if we go into a gym leader battle, yeah, I'd put the animations on. But for like random stuff like this, there's no need to waste time with animations. Um, but for the time being, it's it's fine. Alright, we're gonna ride Branval 6 hard. Like, we're gonna ride him so hard to start this game. Antidote. I guess there's Weedles in this grass that can poison you. A Pokemon can use its moves as long as the moves still have PP. When a move has no PP remaining, that Pokemon cannot use that move. Then you should take your Pokemon to the Pokemon Center. Oh, also, it's currently January 1st, 2024. Happy 2024 if you're so inclined to celebrate. Uh, it's just another day over here, but, you know. Go, Rattata. Tackle. I like how these two trainer jimmies are having... Uh... Oh, it's it's Pokemon... It's Ace Trainer... It's Joey. Pokemon Trainer Joey, whatever he, he is. His Rattata. Oh, God. His Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattata. Mr. Pokemon's house, like, why does he have signage to his house? Like, don't, I don't want signage telling you where my house is. That's, that's not cool. All right, this is going to be an extra long first episode because you know how it goes. Uh, kill the Pidgey, drown the Pidgey. Oh God, this playthrough is definitely going to inspire another rousing round of could you eat that Pokemon? So Pidgey, being a bird, it's basically chicken. 
you could eat that Pokemon. Totodile being an alligator? I mean, you could also eat that Pokemon. Alrighty, let's uh, get through, get through. No, no battles, no battles, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, so close. Now, Weedle's a bug. I don't know if you could eat that. I mean, I guess you could, but it's a poisonous bug. So I'm going to say you can't eat that Pokemon. Oh, God. I I'm, I might do this for every like new Pokemon that we meet. That's crazy. This might be the new thing. I just thought about this in like the last LP. But with this LP, I'm like, legit, this could be, this could be a thing. I need to have serious discourse about whether or not you could eat that Pokemon. Because it all started with Oddish, right? Like, Oddish is sentient. It's a vegetable. But it's also alive, so does that mean it is meat? Like, is it, is it meat or is it vegetable? Like, does it have organs inside of it? Because it's, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm confused a little bit. I like the little animation for popping out the apricorns. Like, this game added such nice little touches. Okay, I'm just gonna barge in. Oh, they know it's us. It's Professor Oak. What are you doing here? This isn't Kanto. You must be Louie. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. I love how he has like the, the gentleman sprite. Like he's just a playboy. Like he got that money. Louie obtained the mystery egg. A friend of mine from Ekerty gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what what this is. He's the best when it comes. Wait. Oh, that's the quote. Okay, I was like, why is he quoting something? Oh, thank you. I mean, it's nice that resting is free. Oh God, he's so old. Look how slow he walks. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Louie. I was just visioning my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand from Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-end tech encyclopedia. Louis received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. Look at that, we just filled out our whole freaking menu in one one episode. Um, it's so crazy, like, this dude's a freaking podcaster. Like, now we see characters who are legit influencers in Pokemon. Like, there's the one gym leader in, not Sword and Shield, what was the latest name? Violet and Scarlet, and there's, like, the one girl, she's legit an influencer. Um, and now, like, this dude has a podcast, like, this, okay, it's a radio show, but this is a, it would be a podcast now. It's kind of crazy, right? Um, but we got the mystery egg. We'll go deliver that to... Oh, we're getting a phone call. Hello, Louis. It's a, it's a disaster. Oh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It, oh, no. Please get back here now. Why are you calling a 10-year-old for help? I don't freaking know. How did you call him back? Oh, that's kind of nice. What if I call Professor Oak? Does he pick up his phone? Oh, you can evaluate the Pokedex. That's cool. All right, what if I call mom? Uh, there we go. So I'm playing this on the Xbox controller and I map the buttons to be like a DS, but feeling the X Xbox controller, the buttons are backwards. So I'm like, I'm confused. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of Pokemon's Little Silver. Next time we will return to see what Professor Elm is, uh, whining about and see what lies in store for our humble protagonist as always thanks for watching i will see you in the next one have a great day